Alrighty guys, so today we're here back in FS FSX, and this is Nate from Flight Simulation, and today we're getting back in the groove, and the second part of the flight, or the second part of our marathon flight, Kektis uh, 1939, is coming soon, but while we wait for that, we're doing this flight, uh, Southwest 1397, I believe it is in real life, sorry about the lag. And we're here in an airport we fly off, fly out of pretty regularly, um, New Orleans, KMSY, and we're going to Denver, an airport we haven't been to before, KDEN. So, let's go ahead and jump in the cockpit of this Southwest 737-700 and get going. Now we're in the cockpit. Um, don't worry about that window. It's the way the plane was modeled when you open the passenger door, the window opens. Anyways, we do have an FMC. I did use the FSX default planner. I do have an account with uh, SimBrief, but I only use that for the Aerosoft Airbus, and when I get it, the PMDG 737NGX. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. So, logo lights on, no smoking sign is on, fasten seatbelts can go on. Alright. Everything else here is looking pretty nice. Yep. So let's go ahead and jump down to the FMC. Get rid of these. Get these yokes out of here for a minute. Okay. Now, reference report KMSY. We'll go to root page. KMSY, KDEN. Perf in it. Cruise altitude today is going to be 38,000 feet. Put that in there. Punch that in. And then calculate the VNAV. Execute that. And we're since we have the FMC, we're not going to even bother with it. ATC. So activate that. Or hold on, we have to figure out these speeds. And hold on, I need to. Okay, I'm gonna fix this here. Our cruising speed today is gonna be 287. 287, punch that in. 287. This is gonna be a little bit of a long setup. This FNC really likes to overspeed the aircraft. I don't know why, but apparently it wasn't like integrated right. So, I don't know. Okay, let's go to the next page. So it's going to take a little bit to get this up and running. And soon to be on the channel is me flying in real life. Um, I was recording with my phone. And we did a couple of stalls. We did one spin entry. And uh, yeah, we flew around a lot. This is really annoying, this FMC, that it does this. This video is going to be two parts. I'm think yeah, definitely going to be two parts. Okay, next page. Two eight seven. Two seven zero. Because we'll start slowing down right about then. Give it two seven zero. And then at fifteen thousand, we'll take it down. Two two five zero. Actually, that's a bit low. Let's put it up to. Oh, uh, where should we put it up to? I'd say leave it at two seven. Two seven zero. Okay, and activate, execute. Good. Head back up to the top of the flight plan. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and ex bring back the yoke here. And our initial altitude today, according to the FMC, 
is flight level 240. But we'll set it to 11,000 just to be legitness. 11,000. Then the FC will take over that. Ghost GPS. Arm the view. Or arm the thing. Arm the thing. That's so professional. Auto throttle arm. Dial up our speed to 250. If I can get it here. Right now we're running off of APU power. And I can't wait till I get the PMDG 737 NGX. That will be a dream. Okay, we can go ahead and set Toga on the engine display. Uh, the ICAS. Okay, I've been spending too much time in an Airbus. Way too much time in a nervous. This we can set up 2200. Er, er, yeah, 2200 feet per minute. Everything else here looks pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I think we can get going here. So let's go ahead and shut the door. And the window will close with the door. Not the most legit thing ever. Come. Okay. Now let's get the anti-collision light on. Go up here, make sure everything's looking spiffy. Okay, we can probably set the auto brake RTO. Probably. We are setting the auto brake RTO. Let's go ahead and get the jetway out of here. Control J. And that starts getting out of there. Now let's take a look outside. This is in the livery of Missouri 1. Is that jetway getting out of here? Yeah, he is. Just very, 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 very slowly. But yeah, Southwest New Colors slash Missouri 1. I'm actually not a fan of Southwest New Colors, but, you know, I live with it. All right. Let's go ahead and jetways for enough wave. Start push back and starting engine two on the fly. Okay. There it goes. Cut out the starter. Starting one. Go ahead and push back here. Park and break on. Okay. Now we're getting going here. That starter's off. Engine generator's on. APU gen off. Go up here. Electric hydraulic pump on. Pedo heats on. Text light on, APU off. Sorry about that lag there. Let's get going. Let's start taxiing. Brain brakes released. Let's go. You guys probably, you guys can't see all of my screen because I'm recording at 720p and my computer aspect ratio is 1680 and uh, no sorry not 16 it's 6 my aspect ratio for the PC is 16 to 9 so yeah it's not going to be you're not going to be able to see the full screen oh, and this is how it's been for all my videos but hopefully you guys can see enough I'm going to have a little bit of a longer taxi than the last time we were in here Okay, lower the flaps to five. Get them going. And Flight Simulation commented, er, no, sorry, not Flight Simulation. The Flight Sim Deck, that's Flight Simulation's me. The Flight Sim Deck commented on my first video 
saying that I should slow down on the taxi, so I'm going to try and be better about that. I have been to New Orleans in real life, been to Denver in real life. Most of these places I've, that we fly into I've been to in real life. Actually, I take that back. I've been to New Orleans, I've been to Denver, I've been to LA, I've been to Las Vegas, That, not to mention that Spirit Airlines flight that I tried in that A321, and it feels so bad. So let's get on the taxi line here. Taxi line. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just rambling on because I don't have that much to talk about as far as the channel goes. Sorry, I haven't been putting out videos as much or as fast as I was a couple weeks ago, but things have really gotten in the way. So, is that airplane heading towards us or away from us? It's heading towards us. Let's pull off the taxiway here. Wait for him. What is that? United. 320 or 93.7 and he's just going to sit there Maybe if I move off a little bit more he'll pass by okay this is starting to get unlegit in real life this wouldn't happen because you're using ATC and all that shit and all that jazz but I'm not here, so we're just going to do a 360 loop and get out of this way. Oh, there's that other Southwest 737 taxiing out. Oh, okay. I think that's an 800, though. Put it here, put the parking brake on. See if he passes. Okay. Oh, it's Continental 737. Didn't know I still had Continental in here still. That made absolutely no sense, but whatever. Okay, let's flip it around and get going. Oh, no, you don't, Southwest 737. I'm going first this time. You'll have to wait for me. But I do like the sound pack that comes with this airplane for those engines. It's pretty nice. In my opinion. You guys may not like it, but in my opinion, I think it's pretty great. So I think when we get down to the runway holding point, I think I'll cut part one there. Doing a legit southwest taxi, 21 knots, speed it to the runway, and we're gone. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like when you're on southwest, it's just, boom, gone. Unless you have a Delta A320 in front of you, then it feels like it's the slowest thing on earth. Because Delta taxi's slower than a snail. Hint, hint. You probably won't see me in the 737 a lot until I get the PMDG one because number one, it's just freeware and it's not eh. It's eh. It, as far as the freeware A320s go and A319s and A318s and whatever the hell I got in my hangar, they're much better quality than this. Although I do have to say for the 737, this is a great add on, freeware add on. So if you don't have a lot of money and you want a 737 that's actually worth doing something with in the game, I'd say get the TDS Tenku Developer Studios 737, 800, 700, whatever. I wouldn't 
if you see a Kitty Hawk one, I wouldn't go for that. That one I've tried, it's a load of you know what. So, I would stick with, oh god, I'm going 28 knots. Jesus. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, check out. If you don't have a lot of money, if you want freeware, check out the TES 737. If you're going to get it, I would get it from the Symphiation website because I've used uh, fsfreeware.net and. Oh, God. I don't know what the other one is. It's like Flight Sim. No. It's. Flyaway Simulation. That's it. And they're quality isn't that great and you'll get bugs or, or not bugs you'll get viruses from them and FS freeware and uh, just a little shout out to a company I found or a website that I found that's clean as far as I can tell and puts out some good software for paywar and freeware aircraft and it, all the stuff they put on there is free but it's like repaints and add-ons and or utilities and stuff. It's all free, but some of it's for payware at aircraft stuff. And that is FS, fsxaddons.com. They have a pretty good website, and I would check them out if you're interested in some high quality freeware. I personally like their TB21 Tobago, or sorry, Trinidad, not Tobago, Trinidad. And their, uh, God, what is it? The, well, check them out. You'll see what you like. And I think this is where I'm going to cut part one, guys. So this is, this is Nate, and I'll see you on the next edition of our flight to Denver. Thank you guys for watching. Nate out.